Yeah, it's been so good to see you Likewise, here in yeah. Davos uh, every year. Every yeah. year, that's right. This is... And every year is so new, you know? Right. This time uh, during the uh, annual meeting, we heard uh, 500 billion US dollars uh, as uh, President Trump promised right. for the development of AI within the United States. As a scientist, what is your take on these kinds of decisions? Yeah, well, you know, the Stargate, right? 500 billion investment in the infrastructure. Uh, I mean, that, that is uh, a indication of uh, how much uh, compu computation, you know, how much uh, the data, how, uh, you know, how big the infrastructure scale needs to be for AI. So AI obviously is uh, the, uh, the largest, the most transformative uh, technology. It's going to uh, drive uh, essentially the entire industry. So I think uh, an investment of this scale is a great indication of uh, just how AI is, so, uh, how important, how critical AI is going mm -hmm. to be in just uh, in our economy and industry. Mm -hmm. But you see some of the uh, powerhouses of AI, artificial intelligence, are doing very different directions. Uh, the United States, for example, as uh, some suggest, uh, is pretty much on discovering on new technologies and disruptive technology, while China on the application more. And earlier, you also heard from the Vice Premier of China. Yes. At the opening ceremony, he talked about China not interested in participating in any ruthless competition of artificial intelligence. That makes a lot of people wonder, you know, what does that mean? Different directions? Well, yeah. Uh, obviously, we need to continue to innovate. Right? You need to build a better uh, foundation model. You need to uh, build and also have uh, some of the critical, uh, fundamental uh, technology and 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 also in the research. Uh, but at the same time, we want to make sure you know AI uh, is pivot to the right direction, and making sure there is uh, the right level of uh, governance. Uh, and with the right um, kind of uh, regulation. So I think those two things need to be balanced uh, in our development and, and the safety. Uh, you know, uh, Vice Premier Ding made a great point that you know, we, uh, you know, AI is a national strategy. We want to make sure we innovate, we want to make sure we have uh, just the right uh, balance in governance. In one's eyes, as balance. In others' eyes, possibly it might not be. So, how do you see different economies are weighing this? Are they in close interactions, including among the scientists, in thinking about this? Right. Well, you know, governance or AI safety is not only a policy thing. Right? It is uh, a technology. It is uh, policy. It's also an application. So. Uh, when we build the right kind of uh, foundation, large model, when we build the right type of application, we want to make sure you know, safety is uh, the very foundation. Right? Mm -hmm. And also, the uh, right type of uh, safety will accelerate uh, innovation. Those two things actually are not contradictory. Uh, and I've been, I spent a lot of, lot of time working on uh, driverless cars. In driverless car, safety is uh, the prerequisite. <laughs> it is uh, yeah. you know, the foundational. Uh, the, the parameter criteria we use to, to drive the, the innovation. So I think these two things are not, not contradictory. That's why you know, myself, uh, uh, a touring recipient, uh, uh, Andrew Yao, and, mm -hmm. and also uh, Euro Benjo, uh, uh, Stuart Russell, mm -hmm. four of us actually started this uh, uh, international AI safety dialogue and we have had a number of meetings, including you know, in Oxford, UK, in, in Beijing, okay. and also in uh, Venice, uh, Italy. And you know, we have uh, some of uh, the most um, uh, frontier scientists. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, policymakers. So it is important for us to have that discussion and also to have uh, not only you know, the policymakers, but also the, the research scientists mm. uh, to work on the things. Mm. What are your suggestions? Because we see a change of administration in Washington, D.C. Earlier, we know there are some kinds of interactions between China and U.S. in terms of AI governance, right. even though it has not necessarily resulted in any specific ones. Right. Uh, so as a scientist, what is your suggestion for those in Washington now? Well, you know, first, I think uh, government uh, China and U.S. Uh, need to uh, continue that dialogue. Uh, you know, that's the track one. Um, but I think it's also important for the companies uh, to, to partner, to compete uh, in 
uh, with market force, right? Yeah. Instead of uh, with uh, you know, ideology or national boundary. Uh, but for academia, uh, for you know, university, it is important we keep that dialogue and, and the conversation, uh, and, and of course uh, collaboration when we can. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we need to keep all those three tracks yeah. and going. And with the new administration, I, th I see a window of opportunity. Uh, I think mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I think uh, uh, you know, this is. Uh, it's, it, it's necessary for uh, two big powers of AI uh, to work together, right? It's, uh, the, the safety, the governance, uh, some of the policies uh, go beyond just the, the national boundary. Yeah. Uh, and, and also the two countries can solve a lot of uh, uh, problems, a lot of uh, common challenges. Right. Uh, you know, not only AI safety, but also you know the, the weather climate issue, which is right now is uh, the number one issue in Dallas. Right? And last year we had the, the hottest weather in our history. So uh, climate issue, uh, renewable energy, uh, healthcare, aging population, right. epidemics, all the things are a common challenge of uh, human beings. And, and China, U.S. Uh, need to work together. I think I think we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What, what to you would be the benchmark to, to understand how sophisticated the communication is between China and the United States in terms of AI, both technology development and AI governance? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, f first thing is making sure Chinese uh, students and the scientists can get a visa to go to international meetings. As simple as that, right? As, well, exactly right. In fact, in the, the panel we just just, uh, uh, just 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 ended, we I, I talk about you know, I have a, a lot of students. Uh, they contribute to uh, the top conference, AI conference, yeah. and their paper accepted. And they can get a visa to present those papers. You know, what they pay? Yeah, you know, if a conference in the U.S. or in Canada, I think those are uh, some of the simplest barriers we need to break. Obviously, you know, companies need to work together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Recently, there is uh, quite a drama going on, as you may be aware. Uh, for example, about TikTok right. and some of the TikTok. Um, uh, Refugees going to Red Note, and 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 the list goes on. And there's always a uh, moving uh, news stories about how many days TikTok still has before a rough final decision. So, uh, what is as a scientist? Of course, this is a, like a TV drama in a way. Uh, but, but to you, what does that say to the nature of this whole discussion about AI and security and development? Right. Well, the whole thing is uh, drama. It's, it's just ridiculous. It does not make any sense to me. Right? Uh, and why not? Well, well, first of all, uh, TikTok is uh, a, a hugely popular app that a lot of uh, the American consumers is, uh, love. And some of them, uh, of course, they share you know, their their information, but lots of them actually use that as uh, uh, you know a business or business, right? Right. Um, and, and also, this is a pure consumer thing. It has nothing to do with uh, you know, national security. Right? You know, somebody posts the, their docs does not constitute national security risks. Um, so the, and, and also, if you look at the whole process, uh, and it just shows the, uh, the hypocrisy of uh, the American you know, legal uh, system. I, I just think... Uh, uh, it, it just it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I don't I don't have a lot lot of uh, insight, uh, in depth information, but uh, the whole thing is just um, completely absurd. If you were someone as a policymaker, you know, involved in this, I mean, just put your shoes into the policymakers. Uh, what do you think sh can be the best result and the worst scenario for 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 TikTok, TikTok? for example? Yeah. Well, I, as a scientist, how would yeah. you imagine that? Well, I think TikTok gonna gonna be fine. I personally think gonna be fine. What do you mean by fine? Fine. I think it's gonna continue, uh, and and you know there might be some some compromise in terms of uh, uh, how they you know operate, but because uh, you know this has uh, been liked by so many. A hundred and seventy million. Hundred seventy million uh, people, and you know I don't think uh, ever there is. Uh, such a you know, um, 
you know, it, it support, right? The support from the consumers mm -hmm. uh, that you know would love these apps. So I, I just think it's gonna gonna be fine, but you know, it might take uh, some work, legal work, and, and yeah. others. Uh, but I think it could be fine. You work now in Tsinghua University. You also go around the world, try to present the best to students uh, by giving speeches and helping them. So um, the quality of education has been a strong topic in China for discussion. Uh, what is your take on this? Uh, yeah, well, uh, first of all, I'm so uh, fortunate to have uh, uh, some of the best minds you know, from China and from the world uh, as part of my students and also uh, the institute uh, air I, I started. Yeah, um, you know. Having said that, <laughs> you know, with the uh, AI, uh, the whole education system need to be reinvented. You know, we need to, we need um, uh, the learning and the education system uh, that cultivate the future leaders and the thinkers who are able to you know challenge, who are able to question, who are able to debate, who are able to. You know, ask the right question and and have an independent uh, point of view uh, and make uh, you know the uh, independent judgments. Uh, so you know the current uh, system need to be changed. In fact, Tsinghua is taking a leader lead in, in that. You know, we started the AI professors, AI courses, uh, and making sure you know AI is a important part of uh, our learning and education. Ya Qin is always a, a pleasure to see you in Davos. Thank you so much. Likewise, my pleasure as well.